modérément. Nous avons déjà dit que ce n'est pas bien ce n'est pas bien ce qui est bien ce qui est bien ce qui est Ya va nomba. Ok. C'est non si. Hmm. Is it from the voice for you? So you did do so. Check now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Sene <laughs> Eze hunwe ale o ezu mo de agada gidi pa mi nani o esan ya pa mi di chifu le tan gbegbe ndi nzere tan e wa de ja ora chale e nos nene kon di mo de le ne bele tan re le ne oja kare nani mo ya oni ke nwe nani wa ne tan ku ona se tan na iku me ke na iji an ko se tan jibidon E mo kwe na aso aso su mo de. Ne ta na na su me me ji. E hiye e hiwe ni. E hiye ba shara le hiwe hiya. Ji kowa. Ne ending ke ni. E ba olen le nwe hon zon mani. E hiye nya bosa me. E hiye e hiwe ni. Ya o ne ya hiye hon. E ni biya na hon zon me tan. E no le agwa zo konyo le bonyo le re le. Ne. I go go zi kwa nti yon ni ili gwa nti ni a hon kwa ni o mwe. A ju zi chan e jo. Ma anon wun yon wwe gule ni e nya. Anon o ma anon wun yon wwe ma ni. E yon wane ni ya a mwane fa. Ya ju zi kwa ya ni ba ije bo ku. E ji zi kwa anon kanyi ku. Nanyi kwa yon anon e bo. E nye ji anon kanyi ji. Ji ku yon wun o wo. Na wun zon nene de ka mwane na wun mwane. So. My brothers and sisters, today we are again furthering our lessons and learning of uh, the Umunede language and by extension a car language generally. In the course of this um, lecture, if you have any question or any questions regarding what we are looking at today, you can as well ask. All you need to do is just type it and send it then we will be able to attend to it. So in this one hour that is before us, I want all of us to relax and uh, also learn. Today, the topic that I've been given uh, is uh, human parts, the borders of human parts, the parts of our body, the parts of our body, everything that has to do with the parts of our body. So we are going to call them in English, and then also begin to uh, interpret them in our own dialect, in the Umunede dialect. That is why you need to get your paper, you need to get your pen, 
If you have any problem with the spelling, you can also let us know. We'll be able to spell it for you. But what's most important now is for you at least to know how these things are pronounced and what their meanings, what the names are and what their meanings are in our dialect. We start with the hair. When you see a human being, the first thing starting from up is the hair. And so, hair is what we call ntutu. Ntutu. It's spelled N-T-U-T-U. Ntutu is hair in the Umunede language. So when you hear somebody say ntutu, he's saying my hair. Secondly, eyes. Our eyes is what we call enya. Enya, the eyes we used to see. Human beings have two eyes. So we say enya bo. Eyes is called enya. Moving from there, the third thing you notice is uh, the ears. Ears. We also have two ears, so we call ear nten. Ear nten. Ears nten. Going forward, you have the nose. The nose, which is this one, is called imi. The nose, imi, imi. That is called what we call nose in our dialect. Going forward, we have the chest. Chest. That is called obi. Obi is the chest. In the chest, you have the heart. In the chest, or, or right there inside, you have the heart. So you call the heart obi. From the word obi. Obi is the chest. And the obi is one that covers the heart, which you call obi. Then we have our stomach. Of course, you know that stomach is divided into two. You have the upper stomach, you have the down one. So you call it, we call stomach generally F4. F4. So the down part of the abdomen is what we call F1. Then the bigger part is what we call F uku. Uku means big. Nta means small. So you have F1 ta and F uku. But generally, F4 refers to stomach. So our stomach is called F4. Now you go further down, you have your hand. The hand is what we call eka. Eka, 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 eka. From beginning to the end, to the end of the hand is what we call eka. Then in Eka, you will have your fingers. The finger. The fingers is what we call Mkbesi Eka. Mkbesi Eka. Mkbesi Eka. Then, right there in Mkbesi Eka, you have what we refer to as Mbo Eka, which is the nail. Mbo Eka. Mbo Eka. You have Mbo Eka, which is the nail, the nail, the nail that you see, this nail. is called Mbo Eka. And going forward, right there also, you have your palm. Your palm is what to refer to as Oba Eka. Oba Eka, palm. Oba Eka, this is Oba Eka. So when you hear somebody say Oba Eka, put this thing in my palm. We hear the term Obeka. Obeka refers to as palm. Then you go to the back of the palm. The back like this is what we refer to as Azueka. Azueka back is Azu. So this is what we call Azueka. Azueka, the back of the palm. Then we go further. We look at the wrist, the wrist, like have a uh, wrist watch where you put your watch, is what we call Olueka. 
Olu Eka. That is your wrist. You go down, you have your, your ankle. No, the elbow, the elbow. You have your elbow. Your elbow. Your elbow is what we call Mpu Eka. Mpu Eka. Mpu Eka. That is your elbow. This one. This one is Mpu Eka. That's what referred to as Mpu Eka. Ah, yes, we go further up. You will have your shoulder. Your shoulder. Your shoulder. It's what we call Ishubu. 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 You know, uh, before now, in the olden days, or even up to now, this place can also be used to carry some things, like to carry firewood, carry anything. So you call this place Ishubu. Ishubu. Uh huh. So we are going further down. Yes, right there on the face, you have your cheek. Your cheek, which is Agma. 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 Obeka Kuma Agma. That is, you are putting your hand on your cheek. Agma. Agma. Then, yes, we also have right on the face there, you have your ear. We have said that. That is Nten. Your ear is Nten. 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 Yes, what is left for us? We go further down. We talk about our foot, our foot, our foot, as you have here, which is what we call oboko. Oboko is our foot. Oboko. Oh, yes, right up for men, you have the Adam's apple. The Adam's apple, this one that is on every man, is what we call a ngongolu. Ngongekpere. Gongolu, Ongongo, Ekbere. Then, generally, breast, the breast, our breast is called Era, Era, Era. That is what we call breast. Now, yes, you go for that down, right there, located at the stomach, is the umbilicus. Umbilicus, umbilicus, the one that joins uh, a baby and the mother through which the baby feeds. It's the umbilicus, we call it Otume. Otume. You will hear many people say Otume when therefore. That means I can only be found located in the stomach. So Otume when therefore they say that uh, the Otume, the umbilicus, is a brother or a relation of the stomach because they are together. You can't find it anywhere else. So we call it Otume. Mm -hmm. Then you go down. Yes, I've told you that abdomen is our lower stomach. Lower stomach. Lower stomach. Yes, our waist is Ukun. Ukun. Our waist is Ukun. Then you go down again. You have the inside of us, the intestine. Intestine, the human intestine is all the intestine generally, both human and animal, we call uh, aquefor, 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 aquefor. That's what we call intestine generally. Ah, you have the liver, you have the liver inside of us, we call it omeji, 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 omeji. That's what we call the liver. Then we come out again. The tie, our tie, we call it mpompoku, mpompoku, mpompoku. That we call the tie. Then our arm, our arm, our arm, we call otuekihu, otuekihu. Our elbow. We call it to a cousin. The forearm, the forearm, the forearm, we call Mpompo, Mpompeka. That's our forearm, Pompeka. Ah, uh, yes, we go right there to our mouth. Our mouth, 
we call onu 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 we call mouth onu then right there in the mouth you will have your tongue this one that is what in Numenade language we call ire 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 is tongue Ire is tongue. Ire is tongue. Oh yes, somebody says we have not mentioned the neck. Yes, the neck we call Olu. Olu. Olu is the neck. Olu. 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 We have told you that the nail is referred to as Mbo. However, you know that we have the hand nail. We have the nail for the leg also. And they are differentiated in Umunede language. So that when you call one, nobody will mistake it for the order. So the handle is called Mbo Eka. Mbo Eka. Mbo Eka. This one. Mbo Eka. While that of the leg is called Mbo Oku. Mbo Oku. That is the uh, leg nail. We call it. Uh, Mbo Oku. Um, is there anything we are forgetting? Yes, back. Back. Our back generally is we call is what we call azun. 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 Our face generally with everything in it, we call it inhu. 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 That is what we call face generally. Face generally. In you, when you say in you in here, that means you are talking about human face. In you in where? Monkey face. In you are no animal face. In you generally refers to face. In you moto. That is you are saying the face of a vehicle. So in you, in you law. You are saying. The face or the front of a house. So you generally refers to face. Is there anything we are leaving out? Is there anybody there who knows of anything that we are leaving out? Any part of the human uh, body that I have not mentioned? Is there anyone? Yeah, if you have, you can ask. Let's look at it. Yes, somebody says you have not mentioned uh, the the uh, um, uh, you have not mentioned the private parts. The private parts, of course, for a man, for a man, you have the penis, which we call inumne de amu, amu, amu. That is for man. We call it amu or ototu. Amu or ototu. For a woman, you have the vagina that you call ohu or ibu. These are the names. Then, okay, the hair, the pubic hair. We have told you that hair generally is referred to as ntutu. ntutu. But the body pubic hair, we call it, we refer to it as ekonu. So these are the human parts. Before we go ahead to begin to use them to make um, maybe short sentences, I want to give uh, just a little time for anyone who have any question or any part of the body you know that have not been mentioned to ask your question. And we take that quickly, then we make short, short sentences. Or there's a sentence you want to make in Numenede with any of the body parts. Please go ahead and send it so that we can look at it within the next 20 minutes that is left for us in this very lecture. So we are waiting. How do you bring them on camera? Is it bring them on camera?
So, ah, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God bless you. Yes, I can see you are asking what is skin called? <laughs> skin. Skin, what is it called? Skin. Skin is called Abamehu. It's referred to just like a covering. Abamehu. The skin is for covering. So it's called Abamehu. Emmanuel, I think that is taken. I hope that is taken. Any other one? Any other question? Emmanuel, God bless you for that. In fact, I virtually left that one out. Any other one? Oh, Bianas here, you're welcome for joining. Yes, any other person that has a question, that have a question that you want to ask, that you want to know? Yeah, Emmanuel, watching from UK. God bless you. I hope this will be very useful for you and also your children, your wife, so that when they come home, they will not need to be cheated. Yes, hair is in tutu. Okay, so, yeah, thank you, goodness. We have, uh, at least we have been able to put those things there. Yeah, we didn't talk about knee, mboko. Yes, mboko is the knee. Okay, so is there any other part that we are leaving? Is there any part? Because shortly we are going to go ahead to begin to make sentences. Okay, my daughter said what? Can I see your daughter said what? You say, please. My daughter said she did not hear of the toes. Ah, buttocks and armpits. God bless her. That one must be a very intelligent one. It's true. Uh, I virtually forgot about that. Toes is generally referred to as a uh, is what to refer to as toes. Buttocks. Buttocks. Is um, referred to as Ike. 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 That is Botox. Then which other one? Ampit. Ampit, yes. God bless you. God bless you. That's a very intelligent one. Yes, Ampit is called Ebon. 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 E B U N Ebon is what we call ampit, ampit, ampit. So let's take them, the three of them. Ampit is ebon, ampit as you have as in here. Buttocks as you have in your bag with you to sit down is called ike, and then your toes is called um, the toes is what we refer to as mbesonko. Um, mbesonko is the toes. So that's the three of them. God bless you. This is really wonderful. And uh, I, thank, I thank God that you are following. That you are, you are following with your children. Yeah. Okunta Emeka from Norway. God bless you. Aloha. Not no no ma. Yes. Two who have said this in Yes, we have said so. Yes, somebody from New Delhi. Chicky Best. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, Ike is buttocks. Yes, very, it's becoming interesting. Then which other question? Is there any other part we are leaving out? Are we leaving out any other part? Are we leaving out any other part? Ampit, Ebon, yes. 
Anita, God bless you. Ampit is called Ebon. 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 Here, I will give another two few minutes to get questions so that we don't be leaving out anything. Or you know it in English, you don't know it in Umunede. Or you know it in Umunede, you don't know it in English. You can ask. Or describe it, we'll find them, um, we'll be able to at least fix it. Alright, from what we have learned so far, is there any question? You have any question? Anything that is not clear to you? Or there's any sentence you want us to make with any of the body parts? Now you can also ask. Yeah, somebody's asking, what is it? Okay. No, there's nothing there. So, is there any is there any parts? Is there any any question you want to ask? Oh, Priscilla Ukwe Chuku Elumelem Priska. Yeah, you talk about teeth. God bless you. That's wonderful. Teeth, teeth, teeth is what we call easy. Teeth is what we call easy, easy. That is teeth. Easy, easy. That is teeth. The teeth is located in the mouth, which is called AZ. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I eventually left that one out. Okay. Well, it's called AZ. Anita, you can go ahead and type it out for them. Teeth is AZ. AZ. The natural fact is number 37 of our lesson notes. Number 37, AZ. All right. So, any other one? I'm happy that we are following. That we are participating. I'm so happy about it. Is there any other one? Okay. Who will um, send us a statement you want us to make? Either in English or in Umunede, so that we can look at it here. Maybe a short sentence, a short statement, giving all the things that we have learned. Is there anyone? Oh, oh truth. Truth. <laughs> Thank you, Agatha. Agatha, Engeha. Agatha, truth. Truth. Truth is called Ekbere. You know, inside the neck is where you have the truth. So the neck was said is called Olu. Olu, this is the neck. Then inside it, the truth, or the use of fergus, I don't know, the truth, the truth really, is what we call Ekbere. Ekbere. And later you can help them type it out. Ekbere. E. K P I R I. That is the truth. Ekberry. When you drink anything, it goes through Ekberry. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Agatha. That's very, 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 very interesting. And that is also very intelligent of you. Very commendable. Very commendable. It's called Ekberry. Is there anyone we are leaving out? Ekberi, yes. Is there any other one? Hmm? Yes, nobody have asked anything about the lips. Nobody have asked anything about the lips. Lips. Lips, this one. That is, you know, we call it Ogmono. 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 This one. Ogbonum, Ogbonum. That's what we call what we call the leaves. Okay, edit Akeze. Edit. You say point of correction. Cheek is not is nti. White chain is agma. Perfect, perfect. I agree with you. Perfect, perfect. 
Yes, nti is cheek. Agma is chin. Yes, this is agma. This is cheek. All right, nti nti is cheek. Uh, did okay, Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, cheek is uh, nti nti, and the chin is agma, 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 agma. Thank you. Thank you. That's very very um, so so true. That is true. Yes. Any other one? Edit. Thank you. Akiz Edit. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Yes. Lips. Lips. Aneta says lips is Ugmono. Yeah. That's what you said. Ugmono. Yes. Lips Ugmono. Yeah. Is there any other one? Let's move on. Our time is uh, running. Is there any other one? Is there any other one? By the way, and by way of introduction, my name again is Ambassador Pastor Sunday Onye Kachuku Azoka Nkwo. I'm a freeborn of Umunede from Ileje quarters in a bar street. From a bar street in Ileje. Of Fumunede. I'm based in Abuja. FMO Azoka Onyeka Chuku Sunday Nkwo. Only be like Jack and Woe, a bar street can rabia. Little drops of water. Yao Nedim. Good. Okay, Agata Ozama says thanks from my daughter. She's so excited. Oh, God bless her. God bless her. God bless her. God bless her. Thank her for us. Thank God that you are there with your daughter learning our language. Like they say in Umunidi, Alionye wo ndwa. Alionye wo ndwa. That this, the, 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 the once native, the, your native land is your strength. It's your strength. There can be nothing more beautiful more important than that is your identity. Is all you are all in all. Is your all in all. So God bless you, Agatha. God bless your daughter for joining and also learning this. I'm so happy that somebody is benefiting from it. All right. Is there another question? Any comment? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 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 So thanks for my daughter. Okay, we thank God, we thank God, and we thank her. God bless her. Yes, any other question? Any other question? Any other questions? Can we go ahead to make our sentences? But I would have preferred that um, you ask your question so that we can help you to form it in our language. I think Anita is there to type it out. Maybe you ask your question in English. We can help you to also say what it is in our language, especially as it relates to human body or human parts. Human body or parts of the body. Let me put this parts of the body, anything that relates to the parts of the body that we have learned today. Yeah, Shirley Fitz, God bless you. See, I'm watching you with my kids. That's also interesting. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. It's so interesting. Don't worry, time is coming. We're going to have our class through this uh, medium, uh, class for all the children, where God will help us to be able to have an audiovisual, where we'll have all of them put together. Then we will be teaching them also. So, Fitz, thank you for putting them together and uh, making them to learn. Yes. Is there any question? Is there any question anyone wants to ask? Is there any question anyone wants to ask again? Or there's any sentence you want to make with the past that we have learned today? So that we can... Um, we can... Um, Make sentence 
For instance, when you say, give me your hand, give me your hand. Yes, let somebody, now that you don't want to ask, given that uh, you have understood everything since you don't want to ask, give me your hand. Let somebody interpret it for us. Shelly is saying, what is foot called? Foot. Foot. Foot is what we call oboku. Obaoku, oboku, oboku is what we call foot. Foot. Uh -huh. Yes. Since people don't want to ask, let me ask you now. Okay, let's finish. What, who can tell me? Give me your hand. Somebody type it out for me. Let's see. Give me your hand before I ask you one very important one. This one, anybody that gets it, in fact, we get a shake from you anytime you get to home. I will ensure that one happens. The king of whom the Agadagidi one of whom we you have a handshake with that one, with him, with our king. If you ask, if you answer that one. Uh, yes, our Honorable Councillor representing Ile and the Ledger, Honorable Engineer Dominic Azubike, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Yes, um, yes, yes, Carol is Carol, Carol is saying, Yim e Kai is give me your hands. Yes, let's give her a, uh, let's give her a standing ovation. Excellently. Carol Anazie has gotten it excellently. Yem Ekai, Yem Ekai, give me your hand. Yem Ekai, Yem Ekai, excellent, excellent. Yeah, Shelly Faith also got it very well. Give me your hand, Yem Ekai. Yes, Engineer Dominic, God bless all of you. Now, this is where the test is going to come. What do we call in Midi? What is the Achilles heel? Achilles heel. What is it called in Umnede? The Achilles heel, what is it called, Numnedi? It's part of human uh, body. And uh, somehow, somehow, nobody mentioned it. Eh? What is it called? Where's the Achilles heel here? Aha. Uh -huh. See it. Eh? Let me, can we use that to show them? Highlight it, let me see. Yes, so what is the Achilles heel called? Achilles heel, Achilles heel. Also, no, Lu Lucian, no, you didn't get it. Oh. Hmm? No, you didn't get it. This is the Achilles heel. This is the Achilles, see where the arrow is? Yes, that is the Achilles heel. So let somebody tell me. Achichiuku. Sally, Fate, you failed this one. Eh? Why are you missing the handshake of the Obi? Hmm? Hmm? The Achilles heel. The Achilles heel. Bumeka? No, 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 no. Lucian, no. Achilles heel. Uh -uh. No wonder nobody mentioned it. And it's so important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Abi Karu Anazia. God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. Dominic. Yes. Maybe people have gone to consult your great grandmothers or grandfathers. Eh? You all live long to be consulted. Yes. Otuku Azon. Otuku Azon. Otuku Azon. No, it's not Mbokwazo. Dominic, you didn't get it. It's Otukwazo. Actually, Carol got it excellently well. Otukwazo. That's what we call the Achilles heel. Eh? Uh -uh. Akwaroko Sali. Akwaroko is vain. Is vain. The leg vein is Akwara. Akwara is vain. Akwara is vain. So it's not what the Achilles heel is actually Otukwazo. So I later update it. Otuko Azon is the Achilles heel. So who is getting the handshake? All right, Karo Anazia. You have to come home to take your handshake. Eh? 
But of course, I'm sending you the greetings of the OB for keeping our language alive. Yes, Otu Kwazon, Otu Kwazon. All right, which other one? Which other one? Did we leave out? Did we leave out? You see that these things are so important. Yes, yes, it's Otu Kwazon. <laughs> you can see that uh, you never can stop learning. Otu Kwazon is the Achilles heel. It's the Achilles heel. Well, I don't know which one again. And Adam is, yes, yes, the second one is correct now. Yes, and Adam is, say, check that my second one. Yes, yes, Otu Kwazon, yes, you got it on the second attempt. But actually, uh, Anna Karolani has got it first before every other person. So she's the one who will get the handshake of the OB. She's the very one. Oh, Efoko. No, 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 no. Efoko, that's not Efoko at all. It is not Efoko. Efoko is before the Achilles heel. In fact, we call it not even Efoko, we call it Mpompoko. Mpompo. Mpompoko. What Jesus, Pedro, I hope you are hearing. It's not just called Efoko. We call it Mpompoko. Eh, Mpompoko. That is one before there. My kids are laughing at me that I did not know it. Yes, they should laugh at you. Eh? You are missing the obese handshake. Eh? <laughs> okay. But all the same, you have made meaningful contribution. You, at least you have um, corrected and gotten some of them. At least it's O2 Kwazo. Yes. You know, the actually see is really very, very important. Um, you know, uh, way back then, when we go to farm, when you get a wound there, Oh, it hardly heals, and it's so painful, so painful. So it is something that we should know, uh, especially so many of us that are homegrown. Otu Kwazon is what to call it. Eh? Faith, just buy them uh, some something to, to, to calm them down, eh? that uh, you didn't know that. Okay, all right. So which other one are we leaving out? Who can tell me? Yes, 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 yes. Let's go now. Let's see. Faith, try. Maybe you can now remedy your, 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 your situation before your children. What do we call the anus? The anus. Faith, try fast before somebody gets it and snatches uh, again that from you. What do we call it? Hmm? <laughs> Somebody's typing. Okay, we will get to that. Enya, Enya, Emery Zion. We will get to that. Yes, we get to that. Yes. So what do we call that? What do we call that? What do we call that? Eh? What do we call anus in our place? What do we call anus? What do we call it? Hmm. Nobody. Faith. We are waiting for you. Tell us. Okay. No, it's not to. Oh. No, no, no. We have told you that Ike is Botox. I think you are trying to say Ike. Ike is Botox. So it is not. The anus is not the same thing as uh, the Botox. They are two different things. Faith, remedy yourself oh, from your children. As they are laughing at you there. Eh? Eh? Uh, Lucian, you say Abu Ike. No, it's not correct. Ike. Ike is Botox, I told you. Agatha, why are you repeating this? Ike is Botox. Yes, faith. Now we can clap for you. Eh? It's called Atun Ike. Yes, Atun Ike is what we call the anus. You are very, very correct. Faith, you have gotten it. I think your children will be celebrating you now. Eh? Yes, you got it. You got it. And uh, of, of all the people, you are the one, the only one that got it. First, you got it. You got it very, very well. Yeah, somebody said, "What do we call what do we call uh, beans? Beans, 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 beans in our place." Well, so that I don't waste time. Beans is called apaka. Apaka. That's all called beans. Apaka. Apaka is called beans. Apaka is beans. Uh, you can imagine, uh, honorable. You say, what is agidi called in English? Agidi. 
Agidi is Agidi now. Eh? Eh? Agidi. I don't know whether Agidi has an English name. Agidi. It's only Obo that we know is pudding. Either corn pudding or beans pudding. Or any type of pudding for, for uh, the beans pudding, you say my my. Uh, for the corn pudding, you say Obo ka. Eh? Uh, you don't have various types of Obo. But for Agidi, I don't know. Eh? Yeah, Shirley Faith, you got it, you got it. We are celebrating you here already. Yes, you got it. You got the art weekend. Yes. So does anyone have any uh, interpretation for 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 Agidi? Agidi. Agidi, I must confess. I don't know it in English. I've never heard it. And I don't think the English people know Agidi. My son said, Mom, I want to eat Abaka. Good. God bless him. He's learning fast. Eh? Let him say, Nchonini Abaka. <coughs> Nchonini Abaka. Abaka is beans. Nchonini Abaka. That is, I want to eat beans. Nchonini Abaka. Li is to eat. Nchonini Abaka. Nchonini Abaka. Yes, we give, uh, we celebrate your son, celebrate your son. He's already picking it. I want to eat apaka. Yes, I want to eat beans. He's very, very correct. All right, engineer, honorable, uh, honorable counselor says uh, Agidi has an English name. So tell us, please. Tell us. First us, Okuma, you're welcome. Our brother, first us, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. I see that most of us are watching from abroad. Yeah, it's also Agidi is native corn pudding. No, corn pudding is opo. I don't agree with you, Faith. Corn pudding is opo. Corn pudding is opo. What's it Eh, corn pudding, corn pudding, oh boy, it's corn pudding. So who knows about Agidi? Okay, okay, yes. <coughs> yes, I understand that Agidi can be called pop cake. Pop cake, pop cake, pop cake, or solid pop, solid pop or pop cake, or corn meal. But I would rather prefer to go with either pop cake or solid pop. You know why? Because it is when you solidify pop that it forms a giddy. That is um uh, uh, um. Akamu. Pap is called Akamu. Pap is called Akamu. So when you make it solid, it becomes Agidi. <laughs> corn porridge. No, it's not corn porridge. Eh? Lucia, it's not corn porridge. Yeah, we've been able to ask Goggle. Goggle says um, you can call it corn meal or pap cake or solid pap or pap pudding. Yeah, some say it's pap pudding. Alright, so let's take it like that. Let's take it like that. I must confess that you have taught me something again today. Outside, I've never looked at that direction to find the English meaning or English name for Agidi. So our Agidi is called either corn meal or pap cake or solid pap or pap pudding. I know this is correct because we know I know how to make Agidi that when you turn a camo. You continue to stir it, and it continue to be thicker and thicker, and once it becomes very thick, you leave it to cool, and it forms a giddy. So uh, it comes directly from pap. Yes, faith. Yes. Uh, well, our engineer Azubike said, uh, honorable says, uh, a giddy is called congelus, 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 congelus. Well, this sounds French, but I don't know. You may be right. So uh, let us uh, 
However, we have, we have so many names. We have so many names for it. We have so many names for it. So please, um, don't because we are live on this same line, on this same line. Uh -huh. Faith, you said now solidified pap sure pass. Yes, I agree with you. Solidify pap. It is actually solidified pap. So let's put it in our diary. We know it. We just have five minutes to go. Um, it's been a very wonderful time learning together, learning our language. I feel so honored. I feel so happy to be amongst my people. To be among my people. What is Ewa? Ewa. Ewa na beans now. That is Abaka. We have told you before that Abaka is beans. So Ewa, Zion, Ewa is beans. Is there any question I've left unanswered? Eh? Ewa, apaka weshi, cooked beans. That is Ewa, cooked beans, cooked beans, cooked beans. Ewa, that is Ewa, Ewa. However, Ewa is not our language. Ewa is more of Yoruba, but in our place we call it apaka weshi. Beans generally belong to the beans family. That is raw. That is not cooked. But once they cook it, you call it apakaweshi. That's the cooked beans. And I think that's what Yoruba is called Ewa. Ewa. Growing up, um, I didn't hear anything about Ewa until uh, I relocated to the city. So it is not our language. Yes, Anna is very correct. It's, it's actually Yoruba. It's not Yoruba. Uh, yes. Yes. And, and Jinazubike, Honorable, we, we, we are not doubting you. You say Agidi is called uh, Congelus. Congelus. It's okay. It's okay. But we have said solidify path will be more easier for us to explain to our children. Eh? We know that, yes, uh, corn is from corn that you get pap. From pap, you get um, you get uh, uh, um, agidi. So solidify pap can go for this. Okay, now I understand. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Zion. Uh, for for your understanding yes ewa is Yoruba language yeah, we are, that is well understood and agreed but we have also said ewa is cooked beans in our place that is uh apakaweshi apakaweshi right now is there any other question or any other contribution our time is fast spent three minutes to go three minutes to go three minutes to go three minutes to go any more question concerning the body parts? Okay, the rename. Uh, yes, uh, Honorable, we are not doubting you. We are not that you're congelous. Congelous, I'm saying that uh, it is sounding like French. Very, very foreign. But when you say solidified pap, everybody is like to understand. Thank you so much. Egua. Egua is also. Lucian says egua. Is also beans. Beans is also called egua. 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 I must confess, I'm also hearing that for the first time. Eh? I'm also hearing that for the first time. I'm also hearing that for egua. I'll find out. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, but I know that the general name for beans in Umnede is Apaka. Is Apaka. Hmm? Okay, time for assignments. Okay, time for assignment. Now, I want you to, generally, we are going to be looking at um, the things around our homes. The things around our homes. So that when you want to send your child an errand, you can easily do that in our language. Things like house, or law. You want to, like room, you are in your sitting room, you want to tell your son or your daughter, go to the room without the visitor knowing. You can easily say, she memolo, that is go to the room. And the child obeys you, and uh, to the Christian, it will look like speaking in tongues. And to the foreigner, it will look like you are using coded language. So we'll be looking at things around our home. So the assignment today is for you to go 
and find out things that you see around your homes, in your houses, in and out, so that by the time we come uh, in our next edition, we will look at them, make sentences with them, and also um, interpret them as God gives us grace. I want to thank everyone for joining us. Yes, 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 yes. Very, very excellent. She had brought up, yes, another name for beans. In Umune, it's called Ihe Ihe. Ihe Ihe, there are two types of beans. There is the smaller one, there's the bigger one. The smaller ones, like the red beans you have, is what we call Ihe Ihe. It's usually stronger to cook. It's usually stronger to cook. Then the bigger one is uh, Abaka. But generally, Abaka is the family name. So Ihe Ihe, Ihe Ihe is, yes. Thank you, uh, Karo Anazia. Ihe Ihe is, yes, another name for beans. in Umnede. So thank you so very much for joining. And thank you for... All that we have learned today, believing and hoping that it has been very, very useful and going to be useful for us. Please note these things down, write them down, play this video anytime, show to your children, discuss it, let them make sentences with it, and let them ask questions. Until we meet again, thank you, God bless you, and God keep all of us, God keep Umunede, God keep Nigeria, God keep our king and all our chiefs. In Jesus' name, amen.